love that. Kitty, don't play. Why, little kitty? What happened? Kitty, come back. Well, I understand. But don't be upset as mastering anything takes lots of practice and patience as shown by the little master Sachin Tendulkar himself. Really? Yes. So in today's episode, let us patiently look at the inspiring story of a true cricketing legend, Sachin Tendulkar. Zoom in. Sachin was born on a pleasant day of April 24, 1973 in the bustling city of Mumbai, India. His father, Ramesh Tendulkar, was a renowned writer and poet, while his mother, Rajni, worked diligently in an insurance company. As the youngest of four siblings, Sachin grew up in a humble household with modest means. But what cheered Sachin the most was the bat his father gave him when he was just four years old. Sachin grew up playing this game on the streets for fun. But at the age of 10, everything changed when Sachin saw the Indian cricket team win the 1983 World Cup on television. The sight of Captain Kapil Dev lifting the trophy for India left an indelible mark on Sachin's young mind. He was mesmerized by the excitement of the game, the passion of the players and the joy of the Indian people. He had never seen his country so united, so proud and so delighted. It is then little Sachin chose to become a cricketer and win the World Cup for India. Finally, he found his dream. After this, Sachin would spend hours every day practicing and honing his skills and would even sneak out of his house to play late at night when his parents were asleep. He would also watch hours of footage of his favorite cricketers, studying their techniques and trying to learn from them. Fortunately, his efforts and talent didn't go unnoticed as he was soon spotted by the famous cricket coach Ramakant Achirekar, who started training him. At the age of just 11, he was selected to play for the Mumbai cricket team in the prestigious Harris Shield Tournament, which is a major cricket competition for young players in India. But despite his talent, Sachin faced many struggles early on in his career as he was often much younger than the other players on his team and he was also much smaller in size. But Sachin didn't let that stop him as he continued to practice and work hard day and night. Eventually, his hard work paid off as in 1989, Sachin made his debut for the Indian cricket team at the age of just 16 and became the youngest player ever to play for India at that time. But it wasn't an easy start as the match was against a strong and experienced Pakistani side with a world-class bowling attack that didn't allow rookie Sachin to score much throughout the tournament. But Sachin didn't lose hope and kept working hard as he soon became the master of this gentleman's game and started breaking most records. Though he struggled with injuries and form at times, he remained patient and dedicated, never losing sight of his goal to win a World Cup for India. Then after 22 years of his debut in 2011, his patience and dedication paid off when Sachin helped the Indian cricket team to victory in the World Cup, what many consider to be the greatest honour in cricket. It was a long-awaited dream come true for Sachin, who had been working towards this moment for his entire life. Trivia time! Did you know, so far Sachin is the highest run scorer in international cricket with 34,357 runs? 
Also, he is the only player to have scored 100 international centuries. It's sketching time. The sketch of the day goes to Naman Khan. Hope you felt inspired today. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. Oh, never mind.